Hello. Hi there. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, 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 good. So, shall we check? Yes. From the first one. So. I'll go first. What is it like being at House of Scandinavia? To be here in House of Scandinavia is a fantastic experience, I would say. I mean, being here with this fantastic cuisine, <laughs> with all the, the partners that we have here in, in Austin, uh, and to be able to host and to bring in Scandinavia to, to the world, actually. Yeah. I think that's no, totally I think amazing. The, it's, a, it's an incredible setup. Yeah, and everybody loves the food that you that you're making as well, and That's you know <laughs> not only the food but how you do it. Yeah. So I think it's a good. Uh, it's been established that Scandinavia is different, uh, yeah. and I think House of Scandinavia has been able to embrace that. Mm. So yeah. I mean, it's all about collaboration as well, and seeing you three chefs in the kitchen, one Dane, one Swedish, and one uh, Norwegian, yeah. really is a part of being Scandinavian. Exactly. I mean, we are and helping each other. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> just making the yeah, making it better. So yeah. good. I love it. Oh. So Go next ahead. one. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, uh, who is your biggest role model? My biggest role model. Um, I would have to say it's not one, but I think it's. Uh, all the women that uh, came before me uh, fighting for women's rights and for equality in general among humans. Um, I think it's, uh, it's something that we keep uh, not fighting for but insisting on. Uh, and, and I think there's a lot of history that goes behind where we are now and I think this is why we have an obligation to, to keep working on that uh, perspective and, and to yeah, keep up the battle. <laughs> I totally agree. I often get that question as well. And yeah. For me, it's the same. I, I don't have one, but I really adore women and men, of course, yeah. doing something differently. Yeah. So, taking the steps, uh, you know, within the corporate sector, you can say if you don't do something just to recruit the fantastic women out there, you know, yeah. you don't talk about it, just, just do it. You just do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. As a so, step part. by step and being a role model, I think that's so important for the coming generation as well. Exactly. Mm. Showing the the good example. Yeah, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. All of them, but yeah, you have exactly. to look for yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I agree. But, it's, uh, but how, how has it been within your type of industry with the gender equality? I think it's, uh, it's complicated. I think it's, it's, a, it's an industry where women have always cooked at home mm. uh, and always like the grandmother cuisines of the world and everything. And then as soon as we move it into a fine dining perspective, then suddenly the men take over. Um, and it's 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 strange because it doesn't make any sense. No, not <laughs> so at all. Uh, so we're bringing uh, hopefully equality and, and just general respect between humans. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're man or woman as long as it, it works out and you're the best for the job. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a role model. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. So the next one. I'll go for yeah. one. How does gender balance look in your industry? Uh, good question. I mean, it's um, it's not really there yet. It's mm. not balanced. I mean, in the management level sections, it's mostly men still, yeah. and by the C CEOs in the airline industry, I think it's one female. So okay. we have a yeah. You're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> and so I think, but it's on the agenda. Yeah. And for us, that's that's at, important. Yeah. Yeah. And at the CS, I mean, we're now doing everything in the sustainability agenda as well and this yeah. is an important part of it. Yeah. So once again you have to be really clear about where you are and where you want to be. Yeah, exactly. And that's part of the Scandinavian DNA. So equality is so important for us. So we are uh, moving in the right direction I would say. Yeah. Also being able to, to, to talk about it. Yeah. Instead of pretending that it's, it's not an issue we have, then exactly. it's better to, to speak about it and then make a plan for the future. And Absolutely. And we, we believe totally in inequality all in all, and of course it's all about competence. So yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's, exactly. you just have to look in the right spots. Yeah. We often get that within the industry, but also outside, that mm. we, we can't find the, the good women. Yeah, exactly. And I would say it's, then you don't look. Exactly. Yeah. Start so, looking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, I agree. I agree. Same for us. Same for you. Yeah. Mm. I think it's the same actually, independent where you look. Yeah. Yeah, and in all businesses. Mm. It's getting, but it's getting yeah. closer. Really? A long way to go though. Yeah. <laughs> what is the biggest challenge to gender equality? Uh, I think uh, 
in general, people thinking that they're worth more than others, being it gender, being it the color or educational wise, I think it's um, it's probably the biggest challenge is that, that some feel more empowered or better. Uh, and I think we, it can only be battled through education. Yeah. So if people have, we're not going to be the same, we're not all going to be equal, but I think if we, if we can have the same uh, access to education and the same uh, access in life in general, as a man or a woman or of color, then, yeah. then we, we will be closer to the goal. But yeah. uh, I think that's the biggest challenge right now, that uh, we insist on keeping some people down in society so, so others can, can, can grow and that's, yeah. that's not the right way to go about it, I think. No, it's not. I'm looking into the customer perspective as well. I mean, the yeah. customers don't look like, you know, they are equal. Yeah. They are. And also, what's driving business value, mm. you know, in, in all businesses is yeah, actually yeah. by doing the quality uh, exactly. work yeah. properly, drives more customer value yeah, yeah. and you make more profit. So, yeah. why not? Yeah. Mm. But also, I mean, I think life is like an, like an airplane. You have someone business class, someone uh, friendly, <laughs> and then you have, but you have to make life good for the people in coach as well. Yeah. And if you don't, then uh, you're losing 70% of your customers. Mm. Uh, so if, if we can make a world where we're not all equal, but at least we have the same opportunities, yeah. then we're, we're a little closer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Getting my yep. slide uh, points in there. What needs to happen to ensure more women become leaders? That's a good one. I think you have to have it on the top management strategic agenda. Yeah. Because once again, the, the competence is there, so you just have to be aware of what you do yeah. and to search for the right women. Yeah. Because they are out there. So. Yeah, there. And, and once again, I think, I truly believe in, in doing things. And for, for myself, as an example, I've been a leader now in 30 years. Mm. So by recruiting women, yeah. I have 50% today in my management team. Of yeah. course I do. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. otherwise I'm not honest to myself. No, so exactly. I think that's a lot of things to be done and you have to have your gender equality work, so to say, on a strategic level, but also just doing. Yeah. And inspire others and connecting women to women, but also women to men. Exactly. To, to secure that you do the right networking and yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah, I think women Promoting. also need to, they really need to get in there with the networking and not exactly. be afraid to uh, to move in on the floor and, exactly. and, and start the conversation yeah. instead of sometimes standing around waiting to be asked mm -hmm. and we should be better at insisting on, on being asked. Uh, yeah, and take more place but uh, yeah. to be more confident in exactly. what it is because yeah. Yeah, the time has changed now so yeah. just do it. Yeah, exactly. And also promote other women from other, other industries, exactly. putting up the role models. Yeah, mm. pushing them out. Pushing. <laughs> What does Scandinavia do well to drive equality? Well, I think uh, I think we've always been strong as nations in getting out, uh, working very early, uh, creating a society where women doesn't have to stay home because they're the ones taking care of the children, um, simply because of also economy. Uh, we have to get out there and work as much as, as men or equally. Uh, even from, you know, I think it's like a, a post-war thing. Um, I've just been to Latin America. Many of the challenges are that you have to pick your kids up from school uh, for lunch, bring them back home, bring them back to school for the afternoon, which means that if you can't afford a nanny, then one of the, the parents will have to stay at home, and that is typically the woman. So I think it's also about modeling the society according to the needs. Uh, of the people, uh, so so you don't have to even consider those issues. Um, that's a big step forward, I think, in Scandinavia, is to to take care of, of of humans as a whole and and take care of our needs instead of the needs just for society. Um, that's true, and also make sure that you have that you can have your balance. Yeah. So if you have small children, that must be possible. Exactly. In the workplace as well. Yeah. For, for women but also for men. But yeah. for now it's more women that's it's more small. women issue. And also looking into the career career yeah. when you come back, you know, you don't have to start all over again. Exactly. Finding your space. Get back in line. No, exactly. Yeah. So it's a lot of things actually you can do. Yeah. But we have a good good opportunity if you compare to other countries. Definitely, definitely. I think uh, yeah. Taking care of each other. Yeah. I think that's a Scandinavian it model. Is. <laughs>
is really with the good values in the bottom. So yeah, yeah I totally understand that. Yeah. Oh, thank you for so, coffee. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> good coffee. Great coffee. <laughs>